So, um, you're gonna want to grind up some rupees if you can. 60 should be enough for now, but I suggest for first timers uh, who are not familiar with this to get at least 99 rupees. Anyway, so you go back here and you're in the graveyard. Now there's a grand total of four things you can do right now. Uh, technically five, but I'll, I'll just say one for now. Anyway, this is the gravekeeper, Dompe. He's like, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the gravekeeper. My face is, may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave-digging tour. What's going to come out? What's going to come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want to dig here? It's ten rupees for one hole. Anyway, if you notice, before I started talking to him, he's on a soft patch of dirt. And you see he's standing on a soft patch of dirt, like this right here is stone, that right there is soft dirt. Anyway, you want to talk to him when he's standing on the soft patches of dirt, and he'll dig up, uh, dig a hole for you uh, for ten rupees. Um, like you saw there, he can also dig up rupees, such as twenty or fives or ones. So you, chances are you'll get some more money before you run out. So you don't have to have full 99, but I still suggest it just in case you accidentally mess up or something. Anyway, I'm going to cut, a, cut out until he finds what I'm looking for in the graves. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, when I was playing Dompe's game, I ran out of rupees because I guess I had him dig in uh, slightly off spots. So I'm here grinding rupees. Now if you go to the drawbridge right outside the Hyrule Castle market, and you turn left, and then you jump towards the center, you will get 20 rupees. You can actually get a total of uh, 60 rupees doing this. Um, you can also do this when it's starting to turn to night by standing on the very edge of the drawbridge. Uh, so there I got uh, 60 rupees, and I went ahead and emptied out a uh, my Lon Lon milk bottle, uh, just so that I would have an empty bottle because I had to go to Hyrule Castle to grind up rupees. So I'm going to show you the Happy Mask Shop real quick, which is right here. You can see the mask on the top of the building, which tells you it's a mask shop. Anyway, when you enter, the mask salesman's here. Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask, bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all of the masks, you will become ha happy yourself. Have faith. Anyway, so now we can get the Keaton mask. Keaton stuff is hot, 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 which will lead you to believe it's popular, which is what that guard wanted um, for her son. Anyway, uh, now you can leave, and there is one last thing you want to grab here. I'll also show you a spot in the graveyard where you can get it, but I might as well show it while you're here. Uh, sorry for the feedback on the mic. I accidentally bumped into it. Anyway, when you pick up this rock... Or maybe it's this one, yeah. Or, okay. Alright, right here. Three bugs will come out. If you catch them in the empty bottle, you'll get a bug in a bottle. Now, you can also buy a bug from for 50 rupees from the shop if you want to. But I, I just suggest finding them because it's a lot cheaper and easier at this point in the game. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to finish grinding up rupees, and I'll cut out, uh, cut ahead to Dompe's game again. Alright, so I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, hey, why aren't you at Dompe's game showing us what you can dig up? Well, I ran out of rupees again, so I'm going to have to go back to Castletown and grind rupees again. So I thought I might as well sell this mask to the guard, just so I can, uh, get another mask. Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh? Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite, that key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? 
My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Wow. Anyway, you sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees, so you earned a little bit of profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask piece. Mask price of 10 rupees. Anyway, I will uh, cut ahead to the mask shop. Be right back. So I'm back here at the happy mask shop, and he'll be like, Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back the 10 rupees the Keaton mask for the Keaton mask. Anyway, uh, now you can borrow another mask to sell. And we will take the skull mask. Technically, if you wanted to, you could get the Keaton mask and wear it around. But it's not going to do anything. So I guess if you just want to wear a fox mask, you can. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, but right now we need the skull mask. Anyway, I am going to cut out grinding rupees, and this time I really am going to finish Dompe's game. Alright guys, I am having a very frustrating time with Dompe. He will not dig up the uh, item that we are trying to get from the grave digging site. So what I'm going to do to make it easier on myself is dump a bottle of bugs into this soil patch. What this does is release a gold sculptula. Now, all but one of these dirt patches has a sculptula, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so we have a total of ten sculptulas right now, and we get a very, very helpful reward for getting ten sculptulas. So what you want to do is go to the Sculptula House. Doesn't matter if it's day, doesn't matter if it's night. You can do whatever you want. And you want to enter it. Now inside this house will be a deformed Sculptula Man type thing. He says, we look like this because of the spider's curse. But since you've destroyed ten spiders with the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Do the kids who return to normal give you any rewards? And basically he says that you should pay attention to your surroundings to find all the sculptulas. And look, this kid right here on the right will give you the adult's wallet. The adult's wallet will allow you to carry 200 rupees. So now we can literally carry double the amount of rupees we originally could. I got it! I got it! I finally got it! Thank you, Dompe. I was at this for over an hour! I hate this mini game! Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. This, in my opinion, is the single most annoying task in the entire game. I have no idea why it took me over an hour to find the heart piece. Whatever. I guess the random generators were playing with me. So the first thing you want to do once you get into the graveyard after the Dompe mini game is check out the royal family's tomb. You need to take out your ocarina and play Zelda's Lullaby. Anytime that you see the Triforce symbol, it implies that you need to play Zelda's Lullaby. Once you play Zelda's Lullaby, a giant lightning bolt will come down from the skies and blow up the tomb. Yes, that is one of the most realistic uh, scenarios I've ever heard of, if I've ever heard of one. Anyway, so you're in the royal family's tomb. First thing you want to do, there will be a keese, aka a bat, hanging from the ceiling right as you enter. There is a total of four that you need to kill. So once you get that one, there's two against this weird, weirdly marked pillar, or stair step, and there is one on the right wall. 
Sorry for the feedback on the mic. I accidentally bumped into it again. Anyway, you enter this room. This room will be filled with poisonous, acidic something, and it will be filled with zombie-like creatures known as Redeads. These are dramatically different looking than uh, the ones from Wind Waker. These actually look like zombies. Anyway, so you enter this room, and it will be filled with poison gas still, and you go up here and examine this tablet. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem. Huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. It's very ironic that I learned the sun song when the sunshine just starts shining into my room. What this song gives you the power to do is it allows you to change it from day to night and night to day. Uh, the only downfall to this is that it will put it to either noon for the day or uh, rest those souls wonder where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Anyway, it will uh, bring it to either midnight at night or noon during the day, um, which is both good and bad. Like, for example, Dompe's minigame. You have to talk to him right when it turns to night, or else he won't be there, so you can't play the Sun Song and just reset Dompe, unfortunately. Anyway, when you play the Sun Song near a Redead, it stuns them. Now, when you hit them, they will instantly become unstunned, un which, uh can be kind of annoying because Redeads will cling on to you and leech half a heart of health each time they take damage from you, or give damage to you. Alright, so there's two graves you want to open by pulling on them. The first one is to the left of the royal family's tomb, and it's the second one. But down there is a kid pretending to... there is a... there is a kid pretending to run around like Dompe. Every time he is out, he will prevent you from um, pulling open graves, which is essential if you want to get uh, five rupees or uh, enter certain graves like we are about to do. Anyway, a Poe just came out. They're ghost -like figures. Anyway, when you go down this tomb... There will be a Redead. Now, you do not have to kill this, but I suggest doing it if you want to make your life much easier. Basically, two uh, jump attacks will instantly kill it. After you destroy it, play the Sun Song. And a treasure chest will appear. This will give you a piece of heart. You've completed another heart container. Your maximum life energy has increased. So, that's a very helpful thing. So, if you're looking for heart pieces, that one is very difficult to find if you do not think the pool will open every single grave. Um, right here, there is a marked tomb with uh, three plants. You want to pull this one open. This one isn't necessary but it is nice to have. Um, and when you open up this chest, there will be a Hylian shield. You can switch it to... Um, you can switch it for your Deku shield, which I am going to do. The benefits to this shield is that it cannot be burned up or destroyed in any way whatsoever. The problem is, is because Young Link is so weak it's too heavy for him to hold on one arm. Or maybe it's that it's too big, I can't remember. Either way, it is quite a bit better than the Deku Shield if you don't need to deflect anything. Um, so now, what we want to do is... 
sorry, I have to play this with a C stick, so it's a bit more difficult than using C buttons. But now we want to change it to Day in Kakariko Village. 